Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with West Brom reporter Steve Maidley. And I believe, Steve, there's some transfer news about this certain person behind me. Yeah, Andre Pierre Gignac of Marseille, or rather formerly of Marseille, his contract ended at the end of, end of last season. Um, there are reports in France that, that Albion have, have made a concrete contract offer to him for around yeah. 5 million euros a year over okay. three years. Um, I'm told from our contacts at Albion that that's, that's not the case. Um, there have been no offers made concrete for, for any players so far this summer but it's quite clear that there's a strong interest in, in Gignac and uh, uh, I guess one man's contract offer is another man's discussion and I'm fairly sure that there, that there have been discussions where money has been involved for contracts. It's not going to be as easy as, as easy as that to sign in because there's a lot of interest and Dynamo and Moscow, one of the clubs who are interested, have got a lot of a lot of money to spend. So I think they would probably blow Albion out of the water in, t in terms of the amount of wages they could pay him. But Gignac has spoken a lot about his, his desire to play in the Premier League, so Albion would hope, I guess, that the Premier League lure would, would work in their favour. How much money do you think West Brom have got to spend this summer? Do you think they've got a decent a decent amount? I think so, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I think Tony Pulis would, 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 wouldn't have taken the job if, if they weren't some assurances that, 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 that they would be supported in the transfer, in the transfer windows. That doesn't mean that, that they're going to go out and spend fortunes on transfer fees. Mm -hmm. I mean, Peter the kind of players that, that, would in, that would improve Albion's squad from, from a lower mid-table squad to a, to a top six, top eight squad, just they wouldn't, ha they wouldn't have that the money to pay those kind of transfer fees. But in terms of wage caps, um, I, I, I would think they'll probably be paying more in wages this, this summer than they've ever paid before. And obviously youngsters are very important to the cause and to, to increase the squad depth and they don't want a situation like Izzy Brown going to Chelsea. They don't and we've spoken to, uh, to Mark Harrison the academy manager and he's confident that uh, that, that won't happen again. They were obviously very stung by, uh, by, by Izzy Brown moving to Chelsea for what turned out to be uh, less, less than a million pounds for a player that they had massive hopes for. Um, but since then the club have put measures in place they're a little bit cagey about what measures they are but they've clearly got assurances now from the, from the young players like Tyler Roberts who's linked up with the, the full Wales squad and Jonathan Leco who's another striker they've got massive hopes for and players like that and another, another really talented young players that they're confident now that they, that they will keep and if they're good enough will progress through into Albion's first team rather than leaving for, for other clubs. Do you expect to see some of them make first team appearances this season? This season who knows I mean it's it, <laughs> they're, they're both in, in their kind of mid to late teens, so mm. it, it would be a lot to, to ask them to, to make Premier League appearances. Mm. But you know, who knows? I mean, they propelled um, Sada you know, into, into the first team early on. If, if I mean, Lico is, is the one who they think is the real talent, but, but he's still quite slight at the moment. Tyler Roberts is the one who's physically um, better developed at, the, at, this, at this stage, and the fact that Wales have, have got him in, the, in their senior squad now, albeit for training, shows how far he's come on. Mm. I'd be surprised if he ever make first team, first team appearances this season certainly in the Premier League but never say never yeah, it'll be interesting to follow their development and be able to do that exclusively at expressandstar.com